multi-million dollar lawsuit against Miami City Commissioner Joe Carollo is coming to an end. After weeks of tense testimony, attorneys for both sides will present their closing arguments tomorrow. And Local 10's Ian Margo is live now to tell us much more about what to expect. Ian. It's been 50 calendar days since this trial started. It began here in Fort Lauderdale, moved down to Miami for a couple of weeks, came back here to Fort Lauderdale. It's been going on for so long that three jurors actually had to drop out but we are finally seeing it come to a close. After a month and a half, the federal civil trial for Joe Carollo is finally approaching the finish line. On Tuesday, defense attorneys for the city of Miami commissioner rested their case and the judge announced closing arguments will begin first thing Wednesday morning. Since the case was filed in 2018, taxpayers have spent nearly $2 million on Carroyo's defense. He's being sued by Miami businessmen Bill Fuller and Martin Pena, who alleged the longtime South Florida politician used his office to harass them and damage their reputations, all because they supported his political opponent in 2017. Throughout the trial, jurors listened to testimony from dozens of witnesses as attorneys for Fuller and Pania painted a picture of a commissioner who has gone too far, trying to convince the jury that this is a man who would bully city staff and anyone else willing to go up against him. One of us is going to be out of here uh, before the other, and it ain't going to be me. They showed clips from city council meetings and pictures of Carroyo making late night visits to their properties, claiming the commissioner was obsessed with destroying Fuller and Pania. But defense attorneys did their best to contradict that narrative, saying Carroyo wasn't fixated on the Little Havana entrepreneurs and was instead working for the betterment of his district. Closing arguments will begin tomorrow morning, and then, as they say, the ball will be in the jury's court, and it could take them some time to make their decision. But regardless of what they do decide, there will likely be appeals in this case. So really, this is just the first finish line because it is unclear just how long those appeals could take. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margo, Local 10.